So I did some research and uh, I saw a couple of reviews of these um, U.S. military uh, Arctic mitts. And uh, I thought I'd give them a try. They're relatively inexpensive. I think these were $25 U.S. Bought them on eBay from a, a place called, um, I think it was Little, Little Joe's Military Surplus or something like that. Uh, lots of people sell them. And these, <clears throat> these are the real deal. Um, there's the, uh, the label. This is a uh, mitten set, or extreme cold weather. And there's the NSN number. So these are genuine uh, military issue. So they have um, nice soft leather palms. This is a, they call it a deer skin. It's not really deer skin, but it's a, just a sort of nice soft tanned leather. As you can see there, the construction is, um, you know, not brilliant. It's kind of bordering on crude, but, uh, you know, I guess these are designed uh, to be effective and not necessarily pretty. Um, this material is... Uh, is certainly not waterproof, it's so I think like a nylon cotton combination or something. Um, but I think for most uses it would be fine. The back here is a, is a wool. It's uh, it's not sheepskin or anything, it's kind of a um, wool woven into another material and sewed on. So that's for wiping your nose and keeping your face warm, etc. There's a they come with a liner, and uh, I was a little bit disappointed with the liner. This this liner is, is very thin you know it provides some insulation but you know really not much so i really thought this was going to be twice the thickness that it is the design of the liner is to me a little strange <clears throat> this thumb is quite well articulated on the outer on the liner for some reason it's it went very restrictive um i don't know why they made this so tight in here this should have been longer again i have a tiny little hand and that i, I can't pull my thumb back so not, not as much as I'd like to and of course it's kind of small this is a huge huge thumb but this liner has got this little fairly small tight thumb so you can't really get a lot of extra insulation inside it so it's a bit of a weird design so for me um, when I put the liner in the glove um, or the mitt rather <clears throat> and uh, it's not really very warm by itself. I mean, that'd be okay for, for me personally. This works down to maybe, you know, minus five Celsius, something like that. Um, beyond that, I have to put a liner in it. And I, I found these wool, sort of heavy rag wool, full back mitts. These are wool and they've got a bit of a insulate or something in there as well. So that combination works quite well. So these keep my hands pretty warm to uh, probably, um, Oh, minus 15, maybe minus 20 Celsius, which is pretty good. My thumbs tend to get a little bit warm, <clears throat> but uh, or cold rather. But um, <clears throat> so these, I, I bought a size medium for the the military mitts, and as you can see, the, I mean they're huge. I mean I have small hands, but you know that's a that's a really oversized mitt. So that's good. You can, means I can I can probably put two layers of insulation inside the uh, the liner. So some of the things about them, they have this giant um, sort of a collar here that's for going to put over your pretty much any size jacket you can put that over. Um, the liners just snap in with snaps. They've got a couple of uh, loops on them here for, uh, for using with the uh, idiot string. And that works really well because I find uh, particularly with the liners, you can just snap the gloves off, they fall off, and then your hands are free. You can put them back on. You don't have to worry about dropping the mitts. They're just hanging by your side, so that works very well. Uh, you've got these tightening straps, and they're quite well designed. <coughs> you can do a one finger. You can grab that with your teeth if you need to, um, <coughs> and then grab them again and loosen them off. Um, so overall, they're a pretty good value for for $25, I'm pretty happy with them. They work very well if you add some extra layers of insulation.